Well folks, this week finally happened what many have been waiting for a long time. The fight between Dopo and Kahaya finally came to an end. And while in this video I'm going to share with you my thoughts on this fight and give you my opinion on this character named Kahaya. Let's start by remembering who this guy is. Tamino Kihaya is the descendant of the first Kihaya, the sumo who appeared at the beginning of the manga and died at the hands of Sukune. Basically, the purpose of the Kaya clan has been to build a warrior who is able to avenge his ancestors' pride. Therefore, Kaya was destined to face Nomi in the rematch of the century. But this couldn't be possible because, as we already know, Jack Hanma knocked Nomi out and will probably not see him again for a long time because he suffered serious injuries all over his body. Kihaya told Tokugawa that he had come to visit him to ask for a match against Nomi. Probably the old man told him what had happened to Sukune, and as it was going to be impossible, he got him another opponent of the same level instead. This is where Dopo Orochi, the true protagonist of this arc, comes in. When Dopo appeared in front of Kihaya, no one was betting on him. In fact, everyone expected Kihaya to beat him up. After being praised by Yujiro Hanma, everyone expected Kaya to be on par with the best fighters in the series. However, we later realized that we were wrong. Dopo and Kihaya faced each other in the underground arena. And as we have already seen in the last few chapters, Dopo humiliated Kihaya throughout the fight. The Rikishi didn't even have a chance to defeat the god of war. Everything was decided from the first blow. Let's see, here I would highlight the fact that Kaya made the same mistake as Sukune. Both of them were overconfident and went all out on the first strike without even knowing their opponent's fighting style. Nomi, in his first encounter with Jack, hit him directly in the face. And as we all know, Jack's most lethal weapon is his teeth, where Nomi put his hand. Kaya did something similar because he attacked Dopo with a kick, but Dopo blocked it with a punch. We all know that the main weapon of a karate master is his hands. Both made the mistake of attacking without thinking it through. And well, as we already saw, it was the first attack that decided the outcome of both fights. I thought that Yujiro's encounter with Kaya was to teach the Rikishi a lesson, so that he would learn not to be overconfident. But well, we already saw that it was useless. After all this, we can only ask ourselves, what was the purpose of Kihaya? And why did Ithagaki use half a year to introduce this character if in the end it will all end in nothing? Ithagaki is a troll, so probably this arc must have occurred to him out of nowhere. He even used the Nasu Stone to introduce Kihaya. Let's remember that this was an event that happened in March this year. It is clear that Kaya's purpose was to raise Dilpo's status as a fighter. This character was being forgotten and relegated to the background, so it was necessary to restore his prestige somehow. So was Kaya a filler character? Yes, and in fact, with this poor performance, Kaya didn't even make it into the top 15 strongest fighters. Even that Rikishi who fought Dopo in the sumo tournament put up more of a fight than Kaya. To be honest, I liked this character at first. He seemed like someone smart and calculating. I remember at the time, there were people saying that this guy might be Yujiro's son. Many theories came out when Kaya made his first appearance, but in the end, none of them were right. But hey, I'd go out on a limb and say that the sumo arc is finally over. It has been more than 10 chapters since Kaya's arc began and now we can be sure that this was just an interlude for what is to come. If the rumors are true, in January, we could be seeing the beginning of Jack's arc. I just hope that next year, the manga will be more consistent than it was this year. In fact, this year, we have had about 20 chapters of the manga, and it was a headache to go weeks without new chapters. It's true that Itagaki has been doing this for 30 years, but come on. An 18-page chapter every month is nonsense. At this point, I would like the manga to become monthly, but at least with 30 or 40 pages in each chapter. But, well, this is just my opinion. Don't forget to leave me yours in the comment box. Tell me what you thought of Kihaya as a character, and tell me what you thought of the sumo arc. And well, friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.